Welcome to iWire's Subaru Wiring Harness Installation Video Part 3. In this video, we explain how to wire in your fuel pump controller after receiving your iWire merge. The first step is to mount the fuel pump controller. Secure it to the harness with a zip tie on the passenger side by the door, in between the blower box and the car wall. You want it to stay mounted but have a little room to wiggle. Keep in mind that the controller does get warm but shouldn't get overly hot. Next, make sure the ground wire is securely grounded. The best thing to do is sand the bolt before screwing on the ring terminal. You do not want to share this ground with any other part of the harness. The fuel pump controller needs its own ground. Once the fuel pump controller is grounded, you'll see a long white wire. It will run underneath the back seat on the passenger side. Take out the rear seat by undoing the two 12 millimeter bolts on each side. Then take off the rear trim so you can run the wire underneath it. Run the white wire in the gap in between where the carpet clips into the panel so that it is tucked underneath and it isn't pinched or smashed by anything. Find the white connector with black and red and black wires. You will cut the black wire, I repeat, you'll cut the black wire on the body side of this plug. This pin location is specific to 98 to 01 RS. If you have a different car, you will have a diagram included in your shipping email that will have the specific pin location for this fuel pump controller wire. Unless you have a 98 to 01 RS, it will not match this video. The white wire will get spliced into the black wire. The side going back into the body will stay open. Cut the white wire to length. Strip the ends of the white and black wire and splice it together using the provided crimp. iWire has a basic crimping guide on our website that you can follow as well. Make sure everything is crimped tightly. You can use the inside of a pair of pliers or if you have a wiring tool, it'll have a specific hole for the crimp. The crimp should hold together when pull tested by hand. Then, use a heat gun to shrink the crimp in place. You could use a lighter for this, but be very, very careful. Notice that it is just this single wire and that the other end of the plug is kept open. And now your fuel pump wiring is complete. The last thing to do will be to tuck in the wire so that way it is safe. After that, put the rear trim piece back in place. Make sure not to pinch the white wire that you ran underneath. Thank you for watching part three of our installation video. Stay tuned for part four where we show you how to install the dash and center console.